Set in the heart of beautiful North Yorkshire lies the Forestry Commission's 8,600 acre Dolby Forest. And each year, tens of thousands of people visit the forest and many do not know its rich history. To put this right, in September of this year, the Friends of Dolby Forest held a five-day woodland festival. The, the, the techniques that we're going to use to build the, the footbridge are all traditional, traditional ones using green wood, uh, which means using wood that's not, not seasoned, basically. The festival, the first of its kind, educated visitors as to the forest's local heritage and provided an insight into what went on in Dolby Forest, showing many traditional crafts. These woodland craftspeople were many and varied, including woodcarvers making delightful gypsy flowers that you could take home, Green wood, rush work and pole lathe workers demonstrating how we can handcraft timber for use in the building trade without the need for any electricity. There was log drum making, trug and basket making and over the five days the blacksmith crafted a sculpture out of iron in the old traditional ways that will remain in the forest forever. The Friends, a voluntary organisation, have been helping to improve facilities for visitors to the forest for over three years. As Dave Hutchinson explains, charcoal has many environmental benefits. Not only does it help plants to grow, but by putting charcoal in the soil, you're actually reversing the greenhouse effect. The carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is absorbed by the trees, they breathe it in. We turn the trees into almost pure carbon and charcoal, and when that charcoal is added to the soil, it helps to release the nutrients that plants need. And it remains there forever. It's fixing carbon forever, reversing the greenhouse effect. Everybody can do their bit if they wish to. Most people know nothing about charcoal, and yet it's probably been the most important thing that has ever happened to mankind. To ensure the festival took place, a grant of £20,000 was provided by the Local Heritage Initiative, an organisation run by the Countryside Agency with funding from the Heritage Lottery Fund and the Nationwide Building Society. The Friends of the Forest hope that this extremely successful and informative event can take place in future years and are currently looking for sponsors for next year's event. A good time was had by all. Entrance to the festival was free and all members of the general public were provided with a warm welcome and left looking forward to future events in the forest.